Okay, guys. Maybe the rest have already forgotten <laughs> that we have the class for today. Okay, guys, so as I said, we are going to start. Yesterday, we couldn't uh, have our class, unfortunately, but now here we are again. And uh, let me see. Okay, and uh, we started like a topic uh, day before yesterday in which we uh, started just practicing, right? We didn't study it at all uh, completely, but um, at least we have just the first idea even. Uh, some of you were working with a homework assignment um, with... Uh, five exercises that I assigned. Um, and the, those five exercises we are going to check. I just remember that some of you sent it. Berta sent those exercises. And then we are going to see if they are correct or if we need to uh, make some changes in the results. Let's see what we have. Well, for today's class, we are going to have this. That at the end of today's class, we are going, you are going to be able to write four sentences using so or such about an article in different teams, of course. Well, it depends of the amount of students that are going to be working actively during the class, right? Well, um, what else? Remember, this is just to brushing up on our notes um, from Monday's class. We started with the expressions or with the word so and such. We got two examples uh, between the conversations that they have. Many time in Venice was so good. Or I had such a good time in Venice. So in such, they have uh, one purpose. What is that purpose of these two expressions in this uh, sentences? The purpose is this. This is the purpose. Is to say very, very. It is to highlight the meaning of so or such. It is to emphasize in those words. In this very simple chart that I presented you on the last Monday, we have some exercises next to them for you to understand better the two expressions, right? In this case, so and such. If we analyze that the meaning of very, the, the use of so means very, this is what we have, 
that food was very delicious. In this case, no problem. I can just change the word and then I say very. My coworkers are very nice. That smell was very awful. And it is very cold tonight. And it is true. Otherwise, okay, it just is. see me. It is true, yes. I don't know where the, the, the temperature where you are, but I am really cold. For example, here, it is supposed that we are in the 23 degrees Celsius. 20 yes, degrees. I really could be careful for the <laughs> flu, teacher. Yes, uh, that's why check. <laughs> I am protecting my throat. I am protecting my head because uh, it is it is cold. And also, it has been very windy, right? Very windy. Right. So we have to be very careful, everyone. Okay, so as, as you could listen, all the exercises in the first part, I could change the word. So, for Betty. And the meaning is the same. Very delicious, very nice, very awful, and very cold. But if I want to change, instead of saying very, I'm going to use another one that is in a higher level that it is so. That food was so delicious. Wow, my coworkers are so nice. That smell was so awful in that way. It is not something good. It is bad because it is the smelling was so awful. And it is so cold today. That can be something positive. That can be something negative. For me, it is positive. When it is cold, for me, it is positive because I like cold weather. I prefer cold weather than hot. Because when it is really hot, I feel desperate because I need to have my fun here. And uh, it, is, it is complicated. But when it is cold, I prefer wearing my sweater, my scarf, and I am really nice. So it can be positive or negative. It depends from you. But that, that is just for so. What about with such? With such, we have something very similar to. And in here it says, the meaning of such is very for positive or negative situation. That was... That was very delicious food. My co-workers are very nice people. That was very awful, an awful smell. And it is very a cold day. In these structures, if we just substitute some of them doesn't sound uh, like good or, um, or natural. Uh, if we just uh, change for very, we need to be like careful just in the meaning, right? Because we need to consider certain aspects with such. But it is because we need to take 
more aspect into consideration. For example, when I use so, the only thing that I need to pay attention next to it, it is an adjective. I have an adjective next to it. For example, this is the adjective. The good, the food was so delicious. Nice, awful, cold. Very simple. We have only one adjective after the word so. I think that it is not complicated. Do you think is it difficult? Not right? No. 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 Okay, let us try. <laughs> Why don't we write down one sentence similar to this one using so? Let us do it step by step. In this moment, let us try to write down one similar sentence like this ones into the chat box. For that, you need to have adjectives. You need to know vocabulary of adjectives. Can you try please in the chat one. box? Excuse me? Only one. Only one. Only one sentence. Sentence. Not only the adjective. I want the sentence. That coffee was so delicious. This day was so difficult. I'm so sorry, Osvaldo. <laughs> it is so amazing today. Okay. Um, in that way, Adilson, we can say this day or this day was so amazing, right? Ah, okay, okay, okay. teacher. And uh, let's see, my, my dad was so tired, yes. Okay, so you see, it is not difficult. The only thing that we have to do is just to follow that structure. It can be in present, it can be in past, as the examples that we have here. The vacations, ah, we are missing the verb, uh, uh, Berta. Mm. Let's say, my vacation was so short for me because vacation, it is like a period of time. And then you are going to uh, consider it as a singular. My vacation was so short for me. Uh -huh. And that you have your sentence. We have the verb to be, it can be in present or it can be in past. It can be with a singular or plural form. It depends of the subject that, that you decide. And the uh, Rose say, my day was so hard. Okay, good, good ideas. Okay. Okay, now that we have advanced this little step, now we are going to go with such, such, uh, it is going to have a little bit more attention because it has like more details to consider. Even though I have here some examples and we are going to have some of them uh, in the chat box, uh, we need to understand that, for example, there are going to be some little differences in the endings of these sentences. Uh, for this right moment, we are going to have this structure. 
in which it says, we're going to have such between parentheses because it can be or, or it can has or not an article, then an adjective, and then a noun. And we have the examples. I'm going to change the color. Let's see. Green. I say. Uh, adjective. I'm going to color the adjective. That was such delicious. The adjective. Food. Nice people. Awful smell. Cold day. But then it has the article. For example, an or a. Y no lo todos lo llevan siempre. It depends. It depends if you need it or you don't need it. And then also it says that we have to have a noun after the adjective. Food, people, smell, they. You see, with such, we have to have like more ingredients to follow. But it means that we can have the opportunity to write down better sentences. And I have. That was such delicious food. My co-workers are such nice people. That was such an awful smell. It is such a cold day. It is it was, my co-workers are, my co-workers were, present or past. So it means that we need to be a little bit more careful whenever we are going to use such. And then you are writing your examples very good without asking about them. Now you are writing, okay? We have, we have, okay, Verza, and that one, you didn't include such. We have funny weekend last week. That is, we, we, you have not included such. And the purpose of these examples are that you need to include such. My friends are, are, such wonderful people. Yes. This was such a difficult day. That juice was such awful smell. <laughs> okay, then that is the last one. In a general way, you have done it. Now we, we are going to see like little drops for each of these two. We are going to separate all the, these exercises. We are going to separate them and we are going to study a little bit one by one. We are going to understand every single part of the sentences. The first, the first exercises that you have done are just by images. You are, these are the models and you just follow what you observe. Okay, and then I am going to substitute. Now we are going to go a little bit farther with each of these examples. Let's see. 
We ate. Okay, we ate such pupusas this Sunday. Okay, Berta. If you if you follow if you follow the examples, you are going to realize that in all these exercises, solo hay un verbo en juego, and it is the verb to be, or in present or in past, was, is, are, where. Just try to follow, try to follow the structures that you have in there. And you will see that the result will be different. Meanwhile, we are going to continue. Don't worry that we have some exercises. Do you remember that you had this as a homework assignment? That you were going yes. to write down. So, yes, such teacher. or such a. Now. Did you complete it? I, I saw Berta's exercises, but did you do it, the rest? Yes, teacher. Okay. Now, let us check your answers. What did you have for number one? Can you type it in, in the chat box, please? What answers do you have for number one? She danced. What oh. does she want oh. the competition? So for you is so. Why so? so? Tell me a reason for you to write down so. Because after we have a adjective. Ah, okay. Okay. Indeed. Well, later we will see. That is um an adverb right that is an adverb but later we will see yeah but that is what we have for number two there you are it's so is it me or is it trembling So, is it me? No, it was me or not? Didn't you feel? Yes, I feel this uh, move. <laughs> okay. Move, move the, the, the movement. The <laughs> okay, <laughs> yes. the movement. It, it happened to me because I was like, am I dizzy or <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. So you said that for number two, we have also so, right? Okay, so, so, so. Why did you decide that for the second one, it is dark, it is so? Because of the same reason, right? Yes. Because we have an adjective here. Then, there you are. It is so dark that we didn't see you at first. Now for number three. Such. Such. It was such. Only such. Such a. Such, such a. a long, such such a, long. a long film that we missed the last bus yeah. to get home. Why did you decide that that is a such a? I don't know what you're going to say. <laughs> no, I know that you know. Because it is a... Uh, well, because it starts with a consonant. No. Because um this this a uh, 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 lo voy a decir en español <laughs> porque se está refiriendo a algo en específico eh, está diciendo como una película no long film o un como una larga producción <clears throat> entendería yo entonces por eso es, neces es necesario utilizar el a porque nos estamos refiriendo a 
un, bueno, en este caso es, such a es como uh, muy, y, y aquí, de lo que estamos Una hablando. Una película tan larga. Ajá, exacto. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. In the difference with the previous one, it is that I need like an adjective, but the difference it is that next to it, we have to have a noun. And in this case, the noun is film. Okay. Good. Number four. So. Now again, she feels the unhappy when she got her final marks that she cried. That is not going to happen to you, right? That is not going to happen to you, right? No. No, okay. <laughs> okay, guys, by the way, by the way, I'm going to stop here just because I am talking about this about the final marks. Chicos, and I'm going to say it in Spanish, right? Um, we are about having the ending of this course. Some of you haven't completed the exercises that from the activities from unit two. And we are in unit four. ¿Se recuerdan lo que estábamos diciendo desde un principio? Que no acumularan hasta el final. Pero al parecer sí. ya hay quienes ya acumularon. Hay quienes no han resuelto actividades desde la unidad 2. Más tardecito les voy a decir ahí quiénes son para que potencien la velocidad y puedan ponerse al día, ¿ok? I am telling you this porque ya el ejercicio me lo recordó y también tenía que decírselos. Ok. Yes, porque teacher. No van a estar el, 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 el último día queriendo hacer todo. Y no les va, no les va a resultar, no lo van a encontrar. Y it is going to be difficult. Ok. Ok. Después del anuncio, we continue. Number five. There was such 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 a such and mm -hmm. not a pues. No, <laughs> only such. Only such. Only. Yes. Why, Elsa? Why not a? Y no en el anterior puso A, ah, pues. No sé, teacher, pero es que yo no sé, pero hay cosas que siento que no van así. Ok, corazonadas, corazonadas. Sí. sí. <risa> Mi yo gringo. Tengo duda, ahí. Yo tengo duda que se puede con la A. Ok, ok. So, eh, dice Osvaldo que. Eh, no se puede. Sí, sí vamos no. a el an o no porque como es una vowel entonces podría decir there was an ice on the road uh, such an ice on the road that we couldn't travel can it be yes or no can it be possible be possible Those are the answers. So it means that we are not going to use an. ¿Por qué? Pregunta Osvaldo. Right? That is your question in your mind, right? Or no? We are going to solve those doubts that you might have. Little by little, we are going to um, separate, as, as I said, all the different situations that we might find when using such and even with so. I have here, so and such. 
what I have done is that I, ha I have colored the different structures for you to identify them. In the previous, in the previous chart, there were like very general exercises and also the information was just for you to have the introduction. But now we are going to have like a little more details per each of them. For example, ¿se recuerdan que le dije a, creo que fue a Elsie? Because she said, uh, the question was, ¿por qué decidió poner so? And she told me, ah, because that is an adjective. Yes? But I told her, that is not an adjective. What was that? I said, an adverb. ¿Cuál era la palabra? Well. Well. The adjective is good. The mm. adverb is well. Teacher, we yes. need a... Uh, uh, I can't see. El lenguaje y literatura <laughs> para empezar a clasificar las palabras. No, no okay. Let me, let, let, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Es que siempre lo voy a decir, pero no crean de que eso les está sucediendo a ustedes. Eso les sucede a todo el mundo que comienza a estudiar cualquier idioma. In this case, it is English. Por eso eh, siempre molesto yo cuando les digo eh, ¿Estudiaron ustedes lenguaje y literatura? Yes. Yes. Pero ¿por qué tenemos problemas para mencionar qué es un nombre, qué es un sustantivo, qué es un adver adverbio? que es un, um, what else, un pronombre. Preposition. Que es una preposition, que es un objeto. ¿Por qué? Porque ya se nos olvidó hace mucho tiempo y solo lo usamos. No, mentiras. Es que no lo aprendió. Y le voy a decir por qué no lo aprendieron. Porque no tenían la necesidad de aprender. Porque todo lo que usted estudió le sirvió para sus exámenes. ¿Cierto o no? ¿Para qué sí. estudiaba el lenguaje y literatura? Para pasarlo, pues, entonces, todo lo que... ¿Cuáles son los, uh, las conjunciones? A, ante, bajo, cabe, con, contra, de, desde, hasta, hacia, para, por, según, sin, so, sobre, tras. Repítalas ahora. No había una necesidad por parte de usted. ¿Y por qué no había una necesidad? Y si yo ya hablo español, ¿y yo para qué necesito aprender acerca de eso? Si yo lo hablo bien, yo entiendo, me comunico. ¿Yes o no? Yes, teacher. Yes, no ah. era una necesidad. Ya, yeah, no lo Porque es. Era lo que hablamos. Si me comunico, me entienden y me doy a comprender pues, y entiendo a los demás. ¿Y para qué necesito entender cuál es el pretérito plus con perfecto? Ajá. No need. Cuando usted decide estudiar un lenguaje, comienza su aprendizaje de su gramática en español. ¿Por qué? Porque el cerebro necesita comparar su lenguaje con el que está aprendiendo y necesita comprender los códigos de comunicación y por eso es que se da lata aquí, ¿ve? En su cerebro hay una palabra, pero ¿y eso a qué se refiere en la gramática? ¿Qué es? Yo no me puedo la gramática porque el cerebro sí está queriendo comprender algo que antes 
no lo necesitaba. ¿Para qué? But now, yes. Por eso siempre he mantenido. ¿Cuándo es que nosotros aprendemos a conocer nuestro idioma? Cuando usted comienza a aprender otro lenguaje. Ahí empieza ese verdadero aprendizaje. Y el español es bien complicado. De gracias a Dios que usted está aprendiendo inglés y no español. <risa> yes. Spanish, it is more complicated than English. Really? Así que, dele gracias a Dios que ya nació acá y lo aprendió sin tanta vuelta. But the only thing that you need to do in this moment is to understand the ideas and the role of each part of the sentences. Now, when I'm telling you adjective and adverb, lo que él sí pensó en ese momento. ¿Y qué es un adverb, pues? <ríe> ¿Qué es un adverbio? <ríe> ¿Se acuerdan de los adverbios de tiempo, de modo? <ríe> no? Ok. You will start reading them. Yes, you will start. You will see. So, si el adjetivo es good y el adverb is well, There is a difference. En su función gramatical es different. So, ahora este chart ya no solamente me está diciendo, ok, después del so voy a escribir un adjective. Ya no solamente esa opción me dio, ya me dio otra. Me da esa oportunidad todavía de crecimiento en my knowledge. The first The first example that you wrote was only an adjective. Now, we are going to have both examples. Y usted se va a dar cuenta la diferencia entre uno y el otro. I have the first one. I have the first example. Number one. It's so cold, I wish that I had a warmer coat. Adjective. It was so hot, we couldn't work. She speaks so softly, it's really difficult to hear her. She paints so well. I can't stop here. I can continue the idea here. As I have done with all of them. It is so cold. I wish that I had a warmer coat. It was so hot. We couldn't work. To speak so softly. It is really difficult to hear her. She paints so well. What ending could be inappropriate here? She paints so well. She could sell. She could send there, sell them in the market, right? Where or at any place. Now, what is the difference between adjectives and adverbs? We are going to work in different teams in this moment. Oops, antes de irnos vamos con el listado, ya me avisó la alarma, okay? Pero les digo lo que vamos a hacer. Uh, vamos a ir, and we are going to work with our classmates, and I want you to look for a list of adjectives, but also 
a list of adverbs. I want you to identify what words can we consider as adverbs and even more. I want you to search what is an adverb with your classmates, okay? That is what we are going to do after the attendance. Do you understand? Yeah. Yes? Okay, yes, so, teacher. Yes. Okay. Now, let, give me just the opportunity. Teacher. Or, yes? Uh, we need to, to learn to differentiate. Yes. Yes, but that's okay. You need to know cuáles son los adverbios y cuáles son los adjetivos. Quiero que los que busquen un listado para que los vean. How different. Y todo este vocabulario ya lo han visto más de alguna vez. But now, what you are going to do in this right moment is to classify it and put them in the correct uh, box. Antes, antes, tenemos todo el vocabulario revuelto. No sabemos qué es un nombre, qué es un pronombre, qué es un adjetivo, qué es un adverbio. What we are doing, what we are learning during this process is, usted comienza a poner en cada cajita todas las palabras que va aprendiendo. Ah, esta palabra es un sustantivo. Esta va aquí. Now, I have another word. Ah, ya aprendí cuáles son los adjectives. Y los empieza a guardar tal cual. Ahora va a aprender a guardar adverbs en la cajita de adverbs. Yes, tell me. Teacher, podemos recordar el concepto de, de adjetivo y adverbio. Of <laughs> course. No, of course. Ese es el propósito que van a ir a hacer. Van a discutir. Porque no pueden buscar solo, ah, pero ¿cuál es el rol? Yes. Ok. Ok. Yes. Ok, pero antes... Vamos con la lista. Ok, Berta Lilian del Carmen Centeno. Present. Elsa Benedicta Magaña Umaña. Present. Eric Isaac Chávez Hernández. Jennifer Elizabeth Évora Santos. Present teacher. Jessica Araceli Díaz Rubayos. Jessica Carolina Rodríguez Aldana. José Adilson Vázquez García. Present teacher. José Remberto Calderón Pacheco. Yes, teacher. Carlina Loreni Navarro Ruiz. Present. Kenia Lisset Barrera Hernández. Present. Kenia Stephanie Fuentes Reyes. Present. Kerin Alexis Escobar Cruz. Present teacher. Lucía Verónica Nerio Márquez. Present. Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. Present teacher. Maximiliano Adonai Flores Escobar. Osvaldo Vladimir Caray Pineda. Present. Patricia Concepción Alvarado López. Rosa Esther Rivera Hernández. Present. Valeria Michelle Monje Valencia. Present. Wilfredo Renderos León. Present. Wilmer Alexander Mendoza García. Present. Amanda Gabriela Escobar. Okay. So we are going to work now with our classmates. Vamos a tener esa charla de lenguaje y literatura con los dos roles, adjectives and adverbs. Y van a buscar ejemplos, por lo menos mínimo. 10 de cada uno, mínimo. Cinco dijo. <ríe> y si son como 100 más. <ríe> Don't worry. Let's see. Okay. I'm going to do it by myself because I don't know who it's going to be. Let me see. Okay, we have Adilson. Yes, right? Yes. 
Okay. Uh, Jennifer? Yes, teacher. Okay. And Osvaldo? And okay. we have Berta, Elsie, yes. and Remberto. Okay? Okay. Okay, guys. Let us go and discuss about it. Rose, I didn't include you. Yes, Can I? Please. Can I? Sorry, no, no he podido cambiar el, 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 la cosita que hice bien. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to send you to work with any of them, okay? Okay, thanks. Okay, Rose, yeah. Don't know why. Okay, now Adilson, you are there. Okay.
y y que nosotros vaya como ayer estaba caliente podríamos ponerle Y estaba que nosotros tan caliente. ajá que nosotros tuvimos que tomar mucha agua entonces sería yesterday was so hot eh, sería ajá, la, la, el, el signo de exclamación que es el que tienen las oraciones de los ejemplos y luego ponerle we tuvimos de tener we we have we have We much have, drink we have to drink a ajá lot of wine. ajá así justamente así. yo tengo una yo tengo una a ver si se la puede escribir a ver si está bien Va a tal vez así. Sí. Ajá. Ajá. Sí, 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 sí. Así está bien. Me parece. Vale, ya tenemos una de... <ríe> una de cinco. <ríe> a ver, mi amiga. <ríe> Oh, vaya, en este caso pongámoslo al revés. The winter, Ajá. the weather, the weather is very, uh -huh, change, change, change. O hizo. Hizo, ajá, porque acuérdate que el so absorbe el very. Entonces, okay, ajá, hizo change, change, changeable. Eh, de ahí iría el signo de, de, de exclamación. Y, ajá. ajá. Y sería my friend is so sick today. Okay. Ajá. Okay. <clears throat> o sea, the, pongo otra vez. The weather so. is, is, the, the weather is changeable. Es en el very. Ajá. O sea, o eh, Jenny me estaba diciendo the weather is so changeable. Y ya luego... Pero como ya en la primera va el so, el otro solo sería Ajá, complemento. Ajá, entonces por eso le decía que el segundo ya no, ya no iría. Ya My friend bien, is solo sick. Is solo changeable. Sick. Chicos, no. quiero, Ahorita quiero lo veo. Ajá. My friend is so sick today. Ajá. The weather is changeable, algo así. No sé cómo se llama. No Ajá, es que le, eso es lo que le estaba diciendo, que, que le cambiara el, el orden, que pusiera primero el clima. Y luego, Ajá. ¿qué pasa con el clima? Ajá. O sea, ¿qué sí. hizo el clima? ¿Ve? Una cosa así. Chicos. Ajá, teacher. Este, eh, solo quiero oh, enfatizar también que después que hagan esto, quiero que hablen y busquen ejemplos de eh, adverbs y adjectives. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok. Para que busquen y se recuerden que es un adverb. ¿Y cuáles son todos los adverbs que se conocen? Por eso les digo, si la buscan en la web, pues ahí les va a dar infinidad de ejemplos. Solo de las palabras que se llaman adverbs. En ad, um, adjectives, yo sé que ahí conocen más. Digamos, lo nuevo sería aquí los adverbs. ¿Ok? Ok, okay teacher. Gracias. Una frase. Ay, antes, y el adjetivo va con un verbo y el. No, no, al revés. El adjetivo, el adjetivo o sea, con... modifica o complementa a un sustantivo, mientras que el adverbio este, lo modifica o complementa, pero ya un verbo o una frase verbal. Adjetivo más sustantivo, ¿eh? entonces, y el otro es un adjetivo con un verbo. Así es la cosa. Ajá. No lo vea más como que va con, sino Ajá. que hace con esa parte gramatical. Lo modifica. ¿Quién modifica a quién? ¿O qué me dice de eso? Por ejemplo, si yo digo, ¿qué es un adjetivo? ¿Qué hace? ¿Cuál es el rol? Ajá. ¿Cuál es el rol de un adjetivo? 
el que modifica o califica el nombre o lo resalta. Exactamente. El, el adjetivo me va a decir información acerca de, de, de quién. Sustantivo. De un sustantivo, pero para, para que yo identifique el sustantivo, tengo que saber qué es un sustantivo. Porque si yo digo a beautiful house, ¿quién es el sustantivo? House. ¿Y house. Qué, ¿Y qué estoy diciendo de house? It's beautiful. Ah, entonces es, si, es, si es esa palabra me dice, si esa palabra me dice algo del sustantivo that in this case it is house, entonces ese es un adjetivo. A diferencia de un adverbio. El adverbio dice, según las reglas, que el adverbio a quién va a modificar. Al verbo. O a una puede frase, Ajá. Frase. Puede verbo. modificar al verbo. También puede modificar una... a quién. Al nombre o al sustantivo. Um, Les falta que buscar. Les falta que buscar. Vean, busquen a quién modifica el adverbio. Para que tengamos esa idea. Habíamos ¿sí? encontrado que... Ajá. Que modifica al verbo o una, o una frase verbal. Ajá. Pero más que eso también, ¿a qué? ¿Un adverbio es capaz de modificar a otro adverbio? A las acciones. Modifican el verbo. ¿Cómo? Al verbo y a otros adverbios. Modifica el verbo. Ah, okay. Modifica también a otro adverbio, pero falta uno. También modifica a ese otro. Entonces, entre más ustedes tengan esa información, no es que ya van a identificar así todas las estructuras gramaticales, como les decimos, part of the speech. Eso se llaman parts of the speech. Si ustedes empiezan a buscar y empiezan a aprender ese tema, parts of the speech, ahí les va a desplegar qué es un verbo, qué es un noun, qué es un adjective, qué es una conjunction, qué es una preposition. Parts ¿Cómo dijo teacher? Parts, parts of, of the speech. Speech. That's it. Parts of the speech. Ok. Ahí le va a decir todo eso. Are the categories to which words are assign assigned? Ajá. Ok. Ok. Busque eso en la web y le va a dar qué es un artículo, nombre sustantivo, qué es un sustantivo, adverbio, adjective, conjunction. Noun, pronoun, that, verb, adjective, adverb, preposition, con, conjunction. Yes. Inter eh, sorry, ¿cómo se dice eso? <laughs> Okay, pero en este momento we are emphasizing only in the adverbs and adjectives. Okay, okay, yes. only that. Okay. Okay, necesitamos cinco. No diez.
Okay, guys, we're going to have just two more minutes and then we come back. Be ready, please. Okay, guys, now, can you tell me what an adverb is? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Hello. The time is over in my group, I do um i don't we didn't we didn't. We, we didn't finish <laughs> okay. why why didn't you finish do you think that um i mean gathering the information about adverbs is like just trying to understand the different parts of the sentences right that's why I was sending you to search about adverbs and in, in, in adjectives. Because if we want to go higher a little bit, a little bit more from the knowledge that you have, we need to understand now this part of the grammar. We need to understand every part of the sentence. You need to understand a little bit about what is the subject, what is the object, what is the preposition. Um, 
If we were just for communicating, I think that we don't need grammar because when we just want to communicate, we are just following the structures uh, that we need just to survive. If I communicate, communicate, if you understand me and I understand you, we don't need to practice grammar. The problem is that since you have Spanish in your brain, you start like trying to understand in Spanish first, and then you want to understand English. It is like the brain is fighting here in this moment. But if you want to improve a little bit more your English, we have to have vocabulary, more vocabulary in English. And that is like, we have no options. That is what we have to do. But uh, will you do it just in this course? No, come on. This is going to happen through the whole courses and the whole life that you are going to be practicing uh, about the language, right? This is not just for this course, okay? Uh, well, okay. since you didn't finish, don't worry, because we are going to continue practicing about that. But I would like to know if the other team could get some examples about adverbs. You didn't finish either? No, we yes. didn't finish. Adverbs not yet just uh, adjectives i'm sorry adjective yes adverse not yet okay um we have some adverse aha uh -huh. can you mention them please uh, quickly aha uh -huh. uh, silently aha uh -huh. uh, now mm -hmm. before mm -hmm. Here, well, Quickly. lastly, always, slowly, well. Um, y será que quizá you find them like we have different classifications of the adverbs. Mm -hmm. Yes, no. yes, uh -huh. yes, yes, just for, just for that I say uh, the adverbs not yet. Just the adjective. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So, what kind of adverbs did you find? The time, place, time. frequency. Okay. Very manner, good. Manner, degree, confirmation, and negations, probabilities, ordinals, and purpose. Okay. You see? Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Are, are we going to learn them in this course? Just in this course? No. Maybe you are going to learn how to recognize the adverbs. And there is a group of adverbs that they are going to be easily for you. Easy for you to recognize. Most, no, many adverbs, many adverbs ends in L Y. Yes. L Y. Whenever you find out an L Y ending, then you're going to start saying, ah, this is an adverb. This is an adverb, L Y. But it's there true. are some others that they don't have L Y, such as, well, it doesn't have the L Y ending. Yes, Elsie. Encontramos que algunos adverbios se, va, se forman a partir de los adjetivos, justamente yes. agregándole la, la L en la Y, y ya yeah. corresponde como al nuestro español, el mente. That's ¿Sí? it. Mente. Uh -huh. That's it. That's it. Okay. You see? You see? They are not going to be that difficult, but we need to read. It's difficult. Okay, yes. Okay, now we are going to continue. Now you have gotten just like a part, just a piece of information, and that will be important for you. I'm going to continue sharing the information that I have here. 
And since you have gotten the examples, now you can identify. Let me, and I'm going to drop captions, hide captions, okay? Now, yellow, yellow marks highlighted adjectives. Adjective called hot. Adverb, softly and well. Adverbs. But this story continues. I have another structure when I can use so. With this one, I can have the following. I have I have so, and after that, I have many or few. And after that, I have plural countable nouns. And my result is, she has so few friends, it is really quite sad. She has so few friends, it's really quite sad. What is the question? No, I don't have a question. I'm just linking the ideas. Uh, I think. Um, uh, we are using now, I am in, we are including many or few. Both, both can, we can change them. In this example, I have used few. She has so few friends, it is really quite sad. I have added more information, but it is few plus countable, plural countable nouns, few friends. What is the meaning of few? Pocos. Okay, uh, in that's Spanish. It. Okay. <laughs> okay, so she has so few friends, it is really quiet. So we have more vocabulary. We have more. I can use much and little. And instead of writing few, I'm going to say much or little. James earns so much money and he will has, <clears throat> excuse me, And, and he still has trouble paying the rent. James, James earned so much money and he still has trouble paying the rent. Or they have so little food that we need to do something to help them. In difference with the previous one, ¿Qué decía a la par de few? Decía must countable nouns. Y aquí dice? Uncountable. Uncountable. So I am going to use much or little with uncountable nouns. I have another one. So plus adjectives plus adverbs. It can be an adjective or it can be an adverb. But then I have that result. Ya tenemos otro componente. Ya me ha incluido el that. And then I'm going to say, um, the teacher speaks so softly that it is really difficult to hear her. In this case, I have a result. The speaker, the teacher speaks so softly. That is the fact. Pero ese fact tiene un resultado. Como habla demasiado bajito, ¿qué sucede? Lo escuchamos. Es difícil. Yeah. It is difficult to let to, to, to hear her, to understand her. 
that's what we have. Then, much and little again. But now I have much, little, often or rarely. L drinks so much. It is not good for his health. Or my sister visits us so rarely. I really miss her. With this one, I am expressing like frequency. To describe how much or how often someone does an action. Todos los anteriores eran con so. ¿Se recuerdan en la pequeña tabla that we studied at the beginning? Solo nos mostraba una. Now we have seen one, two, three, four, five. Five different ways in which we can use so with different parts. I would, like, I would like to try with these two examples. I want to try with this. I want to try with these two. Let us use many and much with countable and uncountable. Vamos a hacerlo de la manera más sencilla. Imite exactamente what you have there, but just change the noun for another noun, but it has to be Plural. You can use so or you can use few. You can use many, I'm so sorry. And you can use few. Y si quiere le da la segunda parte. Okay? It is really quite like explaining the second part. Y si no, se queda solo con la primera parte. That is enough. That is enough. Tratemos de seguirlo, please. With the same verb. With the verb has. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Esta página, lo que está en pantalla ahorita. Sí. Vamos a escribir un ejemplo muy parecido to the one that we have here. Okay. Solo le vamos a hacer esos pequeños cambios. Okay, Osvaldo has already started. He has so few pair of shoes. He needs to buy more. He needs. He needs to buy more. Uh, third person. Third person ah. singular. Okay, third person singular. But that is okay. He has so few pair of shoes. But that is not their case, right? <laughs> In the chat. In the chat. Okay, my okay. rabbit has so few mm -hmm. carrots. Mm -hmm. So few mm -hmm. carrots. We're very good. It's really sad because, because. Because it is really, it is really sad. Um, la, la idea sería, Jennifer, ¿por qué es sad? Creo que, ajá, me, no, no lo escribí completo, pero la idea es, estaba triste porque él comió poco. <laughs> ah, comió, ok, ok, ok. Uh -huh. so, are... Ok, ok. Pero dice, has so few carrots. It is really sad because he. You oh, can it's... say he. Uh -huh. No, you can say he because he. if you if you consider as a pet, you can say he. Because yes. he ate uh -huh. just a little. He ate oh, okay. just a little. Uh -huh. Okay. He has so few pets. He really, he has few pets. 
he really loves the animal. But that, but that is like the opposite. Pero la idea sí ya va, ya va más parecida a la que tenemos, ¿verdad? And that is something good. Solo que el resultado dice, el few es pocas mascotas, right? Because it is pocos. Mm -hmm. Pero después dice, he really loves the animals. Me pareciera que como que tiene okay. muchas. Okay. okay? Maybe podemos hacer lo negativo. No, maybe podemos okay. hacer la, la negativa en la segunda parte. He has so few pets. He doesn't like, como decimos, o... Oh, okay, vamos a ponerle así. He has so few pets. He... Uh, um, le vamos a poner... Like. No. No le vamos a poner que no le gusta. Es que es por la casa. Que es muy pequeña. Ok. He has so few pets. He has. He has a small house. He has a small house. That's it. Es la contraparte. Ok, Elsie. She has so many. Tiene que ser la contraparte. Sí, sí, aquí sí. She has so many sweaters. She loves cold weather. <laughs> okay. She has so many sweaters. She loves cold weather. Okay, yes. La contraparte es que son muchos sweaters, right? That is the opposite. Ah, y esa sería la otra salida también, Elsa. Este, Berta. En lugar de poner, he has so few pets, he really loves the animals, podríamos poner, he has so many pets, he really loves the animals. Many pets. En lugar de few le ponemos, he has Many pets. He really loves the animals. Ahí sí concuerda. Okay, thank you. Okay. Entonces, in these exercises, we have used our many or few plus plural form of the nouns, countable nouns. Hagamos el otro. Uncountable nouns. And with uncountable nouns, we are going to use much or little. Okay. I have, ahí nos faltó el, el, el so, Osvaldo. I have so little water and I am very thirsty. Okay, yes. That's it. I have so little water and I am very thirsty. They have so much money. They work really hard. Yes. Okay. Vamos a ver si me sale hoy. Veamos, intentemos.
Algo así, digo yo. Vamos a ver. ¿Será que se lo envió? Ah, no, ahí ya está ahí. Elsa speak much English. And she doesn't have much trouble for understanding. Ok. Vamos a ver, Elsa speaks, speaks much Ajá, English. La. Ajá, la, la S de tercera persona. Elsa speaks much English and she doesn't have. Um, ahí sería en la segunda parte, she doesn't have uh -huh. many troubles, porque troubles sí es, se puede pluralizar. En cambio, English no, ahí estamos bien. Tendríamos que decir, she doesn't have many troubles for understanding. Ok. Ok, yes, please. Para que quede bien la idea. I am so... Ok, many, my dear Rose, many is... Para Excuse me, much. Ok, much. ok. Yes, yes, yes. Ok, ok. En el ejercicio anterior, porque ella necesita los dos. Necesita much and necesita many porque ha incluido de los dos. Ajá, uh -huh. I am so much sleepy because my day starts at 4.30 a.m. That's it. Now, yes. Okay. This is fixed much English and she doesn't, ahí se comió, she doesn't have many troubles for uh -huh. understanding. She doesn't have many troubles for understanding. Okay. Okay, guys, but the idea, you have gotten the idea. And that is something good. And now we can, and we are going to have the last uh, half an hour with such. We are going to work with such and this. We are going to like separate And uh, this is easy. I have, uh, I didn't underline the countable noun with a uh, purple color. <clears throat> I have, I'm going to use such a, such a, when I have an adjective, but also when I have a countable noun. Yeah. Countable noun. And to be more specific, to be more specific, I might add singular countable noun, singular. Adjective plus singular countable noun. ¿Por qué singular countable noun? Porque aquí ya me está predeterminando qué es lo que necesito aquí. And uh, what I need is a singular countable noun. For example, David has such a big house. Oh. Quantity one, countable noun. Ah, uh, pero, y entonces, y si tengo plural, 
Vea qué sucedió aquí. They're such nice kids. ¿Será que me mantiene esta? No. No. Why not, Adilson? Because el adjective está en plural, kings. En... De hecho, el adjective es este. Oh, perdón. Eh... Because it's not very specific. Contable noun is plural. That's it. Because it is plural. It says kids. Kids. A diferencia del primer example is one house. Mm. But in this second example, it says kids. It is in plural. Por lo tanto, if it is plural, la letra A ya no cabe aquí. Porque la letra A simple me está indicando one. Uno. It says, such a big house. One house. Entonces, for the plural, como no necesito esa, esa información de a, una, so I'm not going to include it. And then I'm going to write, such nice cats. Write down an example in the chat box similar to this, please. Okay. Puede ser con A o sin A, pero tiene que saber cuál va a ser la diferencia. If it is singular, you are going to use A. If it is not, you're not going to use it. Okay, Carla. Carla has such a big car. No, Carla has. Ah, ya estoy mezclando las ideas. Okay, Carla has such a big pool. I want to swim there. Yes. Countable noun. My dad has such a big car. I think it is a bad, a bad idea. ¿Por qué bad idea, Jennifer? Si tiene un big car. Ay, porque me faltó contextualizar que la gasolina está cara. Ah, ok, 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 good, good. Okay, en mi cabeza good. sonó eso. <laughs> ok, está chulo el carro, but... <laughs> The gas, it is so But, yes. Okay? okay? Yes. Okay, good. Okay, she was such a famous singer. I love her music. Okay. Um, um to, to have a better context, Elsie, it can be good. Maybe instead of writing she, maybe you can name the, the write down mm. the name, the name of, the, of the singer. Okay, Amy. Es que no recuerdo cómo se escribe. Amy, 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 ajá, something like that. It's yes. such difficult. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, now Berta. Berta has. Berta has. Let me see. Such, such, uh, what happens is that we need a countable, countable, countable. 
Uh, Podríamos Se decir. cayó en el camino. Ok, vamos a acomodarla. Vamos a ver cómo la podemos acomodar. Um, de... Maybe Berta. Berta bought such a. No, such. Such a delicious pizza. Okay, Berta bought such a delicious pizza. Mm -hmm. It is in singular, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Only that. Only that? Siempre le meto la O y es igual. Ok. Such plus adjective plus uncountable. She always uses such fresh food. She always uses such fresh food. When he's cooking, right? When he's cooking, she always uses such Fresh, fresh food. ¿Por qué no lleva la A? Es plural. No. Uncountable. Because it is uncountable. Y los uncountable no llevan ni A ni cualquier número, ¿ok? So in this case, she always uses such fresh food. One example. This is a menos complicado, okay? This is easy. Okay, we have the first ones. She never buys such good milk. <laughs> she Hello, never, poor, poor of her. Okay, you made her <laughs> feel bad. <laughs> Berta. Así lo entendí yo, o lo que dijo. Ok, Berta always, Berta always uses, vamos a, a, a adaptarla. Berta always uses. Lo que pasa, lo que pasa es que siempre recaemos a, a, al ejemplo justo tal cual está, porque estamos hablando de fresh, fresh food. Entonces vamos a ver. Vamos a poner fresh. Ajá, en lugar de fresh food, ¿qué podría ser? Vamos a cambiarlo, sí. cambiando el food. Recuerda que tiene que utilizar uncountable noun. Ok, vamos a ver con Rose. That coffee, that coffee is such delicious. El problema acá es que me le ha cambiado el, no, el, el orden, Rose. Right? Okay. Okay, because we need to have el, el such, tiene que ir el adjetivo y tiene que ir el noun. Ah, okay, okay. Okay.
let us try. I, I have gotten Me one too. idea later. We're going to see. Yes, Elsie. Um, uh, <laughs> 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 okay. Later, you are going to have it in your mind again. Okay. Okay. This is, remember the first exercises? This is the los más básicos, okay? They're such nice kids. They're such nice kids. We have the word such, adjective, and plural nouns. Plural nouns. This is the los más fáciles que trabajamos at the very beginning. So they are such or we are such or she's such, he's such. We can say they're such wonderful friends. Um, um, can I say that? Yes, okay. They are such they are such kind, kind uh, students. Um, we are such incredible partners. That's it, Berta, you did it. We are <laughs> such incredible partners. Yeah, that is yeah. good. You did it. Good. We are such good friends. Yes. Very good. Y cuando vean ustedes los ejercicios del libro van a decir, y esto tan fácil. Ahí nunca nos salen. <laughs> yes, yes. But it is just a matter of, 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 of getting more knowledge, right? Y este que está bien colorido es como de los más complicaditos. But eh, el color le dice, le da la guía. El such a, porque tiene que ser un singular Singulo. countable. Si tenemos la A, tiene que ser un singular contable. Y después dice un adjective y el noun. Y todo lo que está en morado, it is the result. ¿Se recuerdan también en so teníamos un result? So it is exactly the same with this. For example, he is such a perfect guy that everyone wants to be his friend. This is the result that everyone wants to be his friend. Todo eso is the result. But this is a little bit like more uh, structure a uh, sentence. Would you like to try? Do you want to yes. try? Yes. Let us see. Okay, we have the first ones. Let's see. You are 
yours. Oh, se fue, se fue. Vamos a ver. You are such. You are such cute heart. Maybe instead of saying you are, maybe we can say you have. You have such a cute, such a cute heart. ¿Por qué tiene que llevar la A, Jennifer? Oh, sorry, because it's only... Only one heart. Yes, yes, okay. yes. Okay. You, you have such a cute heart that everyone wants to... Wants to... El near no se nos acopla aquí. Tendríamos que... Everyone wants to... Es como, es como una forma de decir que eh, es una persona que tiene un lindo corazón y que por eso las personas quieren como rodearse o estar cerca de acercarse. Acercarse, ok. Yes. Entonces, lo we are going to say. That everyone wants to be close to you. Ok. Wants to be close to okay. you. Ok. It is such a delicious weather. It is such a delicious weather. Veamos. Eh, necesitamos el weather que sea contable. Necesitamos una palabra contable, Berta. El weather, weather, it is not. Okay. Okay. Then Osvaldo. He's oh, at day. Day? Maybe cold day. Okay. It is it is such a cold day. I see. That okay. en, en, el, en el resultado le faltaría estructurar mejor. It was such a cold, delicious day. That, that, um, ¿qué podríamos ponerle para este clima? That I, that I could swim <laughs> in the <Yeah>. beach <laughs> or in no. the river. <laughs> no, never. There are some people that they no. do it. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> Okay, as well. <laughs> she is such a bad person that no one talks to her. Okay, yeah. <laughs> such a bad person, but no one talks to her. Good. You have follow the structure. Okay, guys. Entonces se van a dar cuenta lo lo. Lo sencillo que van a encontrar sus ejercicios. Now let us check the ones that we have from the book. I'm going to stop here. I just want to show you the book. Vamos. Have lost book here. Here it is. Can you tell me what is the page that we are near to this? It is 40 and something. Time. I have 44. No. Me fui muy adelante. Okay. It is in here. Okay, now, can you see, please, this? That is on your page number, page number 40, 40. In your page number 40, 
<clears throat> you have this? <clears throat> so and such. It is so necessary, it is so important. The projects were so well, uh, or ideas were so iman imaginative, imaginative. And it is such a creative, creative program. It is such a significant investment. The report was such a useful tour, tool before, and the last product was such a big success. With the previous exercises that we have done, todo esto se les va a hacer mucho más fácil. Ahora tratemos de identificar what is the correct or the appropriate option to write down in each of these exercises. Which is the best? It is so or it is such? Let us do it together. Number one. Such. Por qué, Osvaldo? Why do you think it is? It is. Mm, for the previous examples with the pronoun are. Pronoun? Yes, are. Okay. So, it is good to know the cash flow. They are? What is important? That is what we need to understand first. What is important? It is no. positive. It is a noun. It is an adverb. Which is the best? Okay. Number two. The architect is such such a okay such a creative woman number three <laughs> So, so, okay. Why is internet access is so convenient? Isn't it that similar to number one? Yes. Okay. Okay. So you have the answers. <laughs> number four. All the inventions we created are. So, so popular. The computer was such. Y ahí ya tiene la, mire, such a significant invention. And the last one. Checking your financial statement was so. Difficult before. That's it. Sus corazonadas fueron acertadas. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I know that it is not like that. Now you are not working a little bit more con el. Es un noun, es un adjective, or how can I identify? Ya vamos manejando esos complements better and you will see that you will do it much better later okay guys we're going to stop here and i'm just going to look for the attendance do you have any questions so far 
many, 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 or none. We have such better product that the competition, I cannot have. That is why the clients prefer our products. We have such better products. Um, we have such better products. Porque como no hay una A, it has to be in plural. Okay. Products. Okay, guys. Okay. Berta Lilian del Carmen Centeno Portillo. Present. Elsa Benedicta Magaña Umaña. Present. Eric Isaac Chávez Hernández. Jennifer Elizabeth Evora Santos. Present teacher. Jessica Araceli Díaz Rubáez. Jessica Carolina Rodríguez Aldana. José Adilson Vázquez García. Present teacher. José Remberto Calderón Pacheco. Just here. Carlina Loreni Navarro Ruiz. Present. Kenelizet Barrera Hernández. Present. Kenny Stephanie Fuentes Reyes. Present. Kerin Alexis Escobar Cruz. No estaba Kerin. Ok. Lucía Verónica Nerio Márquez. Present. Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. Present. Maximiliano Adonai Flores Escobar. Present. Osvaldo Vladimir Garay Pineda. Present. Patricia Concepción Alvarado López. Rosa Esther Rivera Hernández. Present. Valeria Michelle Monje Valencia. Present. Wilfredo Rendero León. Present. Wilmer Alexander Mendoza García. Present. Amanda Gabriela Escobar. Okay, she was the last one, okay? Okay, guys. Uh, solo lo que les dije al inicio, okay? Give me a second. I just want to show you the the final view of your evaluations, okay? No lo voy a decir yo, ustedes lo van a ver, okay? Okay, these are the results that you have so far. You have from homework number one, number two, number three, number four. For when we say homework, son todas las actividades de unit one. Homework one, todas las actividades. For example, there are some of you that, that have the 100%. From homework two, three, and four. Uh, for example, Elsa ya tiene el 40% from unit four. Uh, Jennifer tiene the 80%. So you need to check this, okay? There are some, okay, déjenme ver. Ahí voy. That you have only the 20% in some of them, okay? So it means that we need to continue working. ¿Por qué? The day when we finish, entregan totalmente todo su paquete de evaluaciones and you have 
no travels at all. Okay? So keep working. Keep working para mantenerse al día. Pero porque a mí no me salen todas y que ya las hice todas. ¿Ya las hizo? Tienen ¿Todas? que aparecerle todas, ¿ok? Tienen que aparecerle todas. Pero al final dice cero. Cero. Al final de ese cuadro, la izquierda, su izquierda sería la última columna, dice cero. Vamos a ver. Berta. Todos tienen cero porque... Eh, el examen ver. final. El examen final. Aunque, aunque, aunque tiene que tener un avance. Tienen que tener un avance porque si no, no... Algunos sí les está anotando y algunos otros no, por ejemplo. Porque yo ah, hice ya hasta la, hasta la tarea 15. Yo hice la 15 y no me hice en costado. Ok. Se los de, por ejemplo, Jennifer tiene el 90, 90 como final. Sin embargo, Berta y Elsa no les aparece nada. Tienen cero. Entonces, uh -huh. una sugerencia. Muy bien que se fijó, muy bien que se fijó, Berta. Uh, o pueden ponerse mañana en contacto con Mirella para hacerle esa pregunta. Ah, bueno. Entonces la vamos Teacher, a ahí. En mi caso me aparece 90% porque yo ya inicié el examen final y solo me faltan dos interrogantes para ah, finalizarlo okay. por completo. Okay. Uh -huh, eso okay. es. So that is the point, ladies. No es el score okay. final, es el examen final. ¿Ok? No es el examen final. No, pero usted ya comenzó el examen final, ¿verdad? Eh, no me acuerdo. Ah, ok. Entonces, antes de consultar, fíjese si ya lo comenzó. Si no lo ha comenzado, por eso es que no le aparece ningún avance. Pero ni en las tareas aparece avance nada, que todo tan gustado. No, no, tampoco. Se lo voy a volver a mostrar solo para que se quede tranquila y verma tranquila. Mire, aquí está Berta, ¿ve? ¿Cómo es que en todo tiene cero? Aquí ya no me... Ah, sí. Ajá, en okay. final exam. Este es el examen el examen final y la unidad 4 eso es lo que le hace falta ok ok guys so, thank you very much for being here and see you tomorrow thank you tomorrow bye, -bye. Good night. take care good night so to you good night.